What was a moment you said to yourself, damn, I actually am stupid. When someone told me they had the same name as me. I said really? What's your name? Needless to say. I felt like dying. I'm horrible with names. I got a new partner on the ambulance. He introduced himself and I promptly forgot his name. I hope that sometime in the shift he would say it again. I remembered his last name. Duty assignments for the day were posted with last names, but not his first. No dice. We get to end of shift and I have to finally break down and ask him what his first name was T finish paperwork. Yup. Same as my first name. I will never forget the look he gave me. Found a lost smartphone when walking somewhere. It was the exact same model as my own phone. Dropped it off at the nearest police station so they could contact the owner. Found out later that I had dropped off my own phone instead of the one I found. Given the level of stupid in some of these other stories. I was expecting you to say that you had found your own phone you didn't know was lost. My dad is a prankster. When I was about 18 he tried to convince me that Kenny Rogers owned Kroger. And it was really convincing. It didn't help that we called it Kroger's with an S and not Kroger. Which is correct. He kept saying. He even named it after himself. Kenny Rogers. K. Rogers. Kroger's. It made sense. But knowing my dad my bullshit detector was going off so I announced that I'll find out once and for all and call the local Kroger and ask. I called. Asked for a manager. He gets on the phone and I ask if Kenny Rogers owns Kroger's and relay the argument my dad gave. The dude laughs hard for a solid 2 minutes. Thanks me for the best prank call he's had and hung up on me. 25 years later my dad still asks if I found out if Kenny Rogers owned Kroger yet. One particularly hazy morning I went to the cafe. Paid for a cup of coffee. Then promptly turned around and walked about a half mile down the block before realizing I never got my coffee. That sucks. Went in to buy gas once. Decided to get a fountain drink. Gave the clerk a $20 bill. Got in my car and promptly drove away. Was only when I looked at my fuel gauge like 10 minutes later I realized what I did. Most expensive DR. Pepper ever. I used to work in fast food, drive through specifically. This happens way I, 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 I more often than it should. One time a woman drove up. Paid. Got her drink. And drove off without her food. And we watched her sit in the adjacent parking lot, about 400 feet away, for around 5 minutes before we realized she wasn't coming back and one of our employees jogged over with her food. We joked about her sipping her drink and saying man. The snot cheeseburger is delicious. But in reality it was probably more like I can never step foot in that restaurant again. In the army I was learning how Humvees worked. You have to lock the doors from the inside by slamming down a bar. It's called combat locking the door. Then you put a padlock on the driver door to secure the Humvee. My squad leader taught me a trick to reach through the window and slam down the bar instead of having to crawl through and reach the bar for each door. Then you just push the window up and you are done. I thought I was high speed when I learned this so the next day when I was showing off my new trick. I locked all 4 Humvee doors faster than anyone. What I forgot was that you are not supposed to combat lock the driver door. This meant the Humvee was completely combat locked and could only be unlocked from the inside. I had to disassemble an armored Humvee door which took hours and was roasted the entire time by everyone around. This one time I was asked to ref a football match. Was gonna flip a coin to decide which team would start. I asked for a rep from each team. Asked the first guy whether he was picking heads or tails. He picked heads. I asked the other guy what he was going to pick. Went to the store to buy coffee. Got home with pasta. Lettuce and milk. I forgot the coffee. I went to Costco with the specific purpose of picking up my prescription. Decided I might as well pick up a rotisserie chicken while I was there. Get home with one chicken and zero prescription. My BF was weighing our suitcases the night before a flight. He did the classic. Step on the scale and then step on the scale with the suitcase and do the math technique. 
One of the bags was a couple of kg over the limit so I reassured him that by morning he will have lost a bit of weight which might help get back under the limit. Didn't think that one through. Edit. Thank you kind stranger for my very first award. I spent a good 45 seconds trying to open a can of beans with a can opener and couldn't for the life of me figure out what I was doing wrong. I remember thinking it had been a while since I'd opened a can but really? Then I took a good hard look at what I was doing and realized I was trying to open a can with a potato peeler. I put my phone in the freezer to charge. I remember having the thought that it would actually work. Several hours later. I couldn't find my phone. When someone called me. My brain refused to put together that the reason why my fridge was playing music was that my phone was in it. I just thought it was a feature I had missed. I was talking on the phone with my mom. After a while I got frustrated because I couldn't find my phone anywhere. I told my mom about it and she replied. Wait a second. I'll hang up and then call it so you can find it. I figured out how dumb I was as I was staring the ringing phone in my hand. We had a good laugh about it. But Apple really doesn't fall far from the tree. On the flip side of that. I couldn't find my phone. So I texted my friend on my iPad asking him to call me so I could locate it. And he thought I was making a stupid joke. Didn't occur to me how weird that would seem on his end without explaining I was using a different device. My divorce finalized in early 2017. In late 2017. I got back together with my ex-wife. Sitting across from my ex-wife in a Mexican restaurant in late 2019 after our thousandth argument. I very calmly. But firmly. Said we're the stupidest people on the fking planet. She agreed. A couple days later she moved out. In my kitchen I have one cabinet for bowls and plates and another one for cups. This hasn't changed since moving into the house 4 years ago. About 75% of the time. I open the wrong cabinets to get what I need. Even when I try really hard to focus on opening the right cabinet. I still regularly get it wrong. That was the final straw that validated my stupidity. Have you considered switching what goes in each cabinet? Sometimes we move in and we put things away and then we don't move them even though we should reevaluate after we've lived somewhere a while and see how it really would work better. I once talked to my GF about the impressive records of Cristiano Ronaldo in football. Literally in her next sentence she asked. How old is Ronaldo? To which I stupidly replied. Who's Ronaldo? Edit. THX for the award. I'm not American. But if I were I'd vote for B-Den. I used to work at a lovely deli around 2. 3. Comma years ago. Some of the beverages we offered was fresh. Hot coffee. A gentleman walked in and asked for a coffee with lots of cream. Not a problem. Says I. I pull out the cream. Take the lid off. And my boss reminds me to shake it first. Not a problem. I think again. And shake the, open. Lidless carton of light cream, sending cream all over the floor. Counter. Fridge. Etc. Everyone in the deli just stopped and stared at me for a few of the longest seconds of my life. Made me rethink so much of my life. I did something similar at Margaretville in Key West in the 90s. We just walked down Duval Street. Spent some time at Captain Tony's. Had a couple at hog's breath even though we were living in Fort Walton Beach at the time and we had a hog's breath intestine. We decided to get some food and. Being tourists to Key West. Decided that Margaretville was the place. I've seen Jimmy Buffett in concert 26 times. Including at the Miami Marine Stadium twice. I'm a huge fan. Tipsy Eliomi was peering all around the restaurant. Taking it all in. And shaking the ketchup for my fries. Without the cap on the bottle. Ketchup on me. Ketchup on my husband. Ketchup on the wall. Ketchup on the booth. It looked like a murder scene. Thank Ra that the waitress had a sense of humor. We tipped well. Colon. Capital D. Forgot to check the oven before preheating. Set a forgotten pizza box on fire. Husband will never let me live it down. It was several years ago. Here's one. 
my wife threw a graduation party for me. She bought corn on the cob to make. I put it in the oven and the plastic grocery bags to store it for later. Hours go by. And I preheat the oven for something and go outside. I made plastic dipped corn on the cob for our guests. We used to live in a pretty small condo. We used our oven as storage for our big pans when we weren't using the oven. Every single time my wife would call out to me after the oven was preheated to remove the scalding hot pan so she could put her pan in. I finally had enough and asked. Why don't you remove the pans before you preheat the oven? Double quote. She said. How about you cook your own f king dinner? I shoot up. I had swapped a different engine into my car. Got around to the point where I was ready to do start up. Go to fire it up and nothing. Not getting any fuel pressure. Fuel pump was priming. Wasn't a leak anywhere. Tear the fuel cell apart. Pull the pump out. Rig up a bucket of fuel test the pump. Seems to be working fine. Put the fuel cell back together. Must be a plug filter. Pull the filter can blow through it fine shouldn't be stopping the fuel. Finally dawned on me after an hour of fking around. I've been pulling apart the whole fuel system and there isn't ethanol on everything. Fking fuel cell is empty. Put some fuel in the car and yeah I wouldn't believe it but it made fuel pressure. I'm a fking idiot. I was in my late 30s before I realized you can raise the lever on the toaster to lift up the toast and easily grip it. Instead of playing operation with your fingers in the toaster slots. Also. The numbers on the dial aren't degrees of toastiness. It's minutes. Edit. I am wrong. It is in fact science. Blah blah. Electrical engineering. Blah blah. Math. Blah blah. Degrees of toastiness. It's minutes. Edit. I am wrong. It is in fact science. Blah blah. Electrical engineering. Blah blah. Math. Blah blah. This conversation with my boss. I will be in late tomorrow. I have a doctor's appointment. Double quote. Is everything okay? Double quote. Yes. Why do you ask? Double quote. Not me but my sister had this realization when I challenged her confident proclamation that she wanted to sit at the back of the roller coaster to get a longer ride. She will get a faster ride down the hills though. Typically 3 stroke 4 to the back is the best place to sit if you want the best pops of airtime. I said out loud. Wouldn't it be crazy if Halloween fell on a Friday the 13th it would be crazy because that's not how dates work. Yesterday I bought ingredients to make nachos and forgot. You know. The actual nacho chips. I also cooked up a pound of taco meat for nachos yesterday but realized afterwards I had like only a quarter of a bag of chips left. Feels bad man. During a dental appointment. My dentist asked me to bite down on this little strip of like sandpaper. Not sure what it's called exactly. But she says okay now tap. Tap. Tap but while she said it. She motioned with her hands like this. Ah yeah. What she meant was tap my teeth down on the sandpaper a few times. I took it as okay I'll tap my fingers together, and just mimicked her gesture. She was trying so hard not to laugh at me when I realized what I had done. I was shocked to learn that hearts and diamonds are always red cards and spade and clubs are always black and a deck of cards. I was told last night and felt so dumb. I've played poker. Since being concussed. I won't say I wasn't stupid before the concussion but I know for sure I'm stupider now and it's a strange sense of loss. So. Some free advice. It's probably worth what you pay for it. Capital P. It's okay to mourn loss of body function. I have permanent damage to my body and I'm in daily pain. Sometimes constant. I had to accept that it was permanent and the first step for me was allowing myself to work through the stages of grief. You haven't lost someone else. You've lost the person you were. And it's fking hard to accept it. Sometimes. It's okay to hurt emotionally. Anyway. You might be okay and all. But it helped me a lot. For what it's worth to you. Was a bit distracted while unloading my shopping. Accidentally put my novel in the freezer and ice cream on the shelf. Didn't notice until the next day. 
By that time the ice cream was spoiled and the book was mildly iced over. Me. Hey. Have you seen my glasses? Huh? Did you check the fridge? Double quote. And there they are just like the 100 other times I can't find my glasses. Why do I put them in the fridge? It would have been the mid to late 90s. Hanging out at a friend's. Listening to records and smoking pot. Friend put on his new Green Day Dookie album. I definitely know that the lyrics to the song Basket Case and have no issue with singing them with gusto. Me. Sometimes I give myself the creeps. Sometimes my mom plays tricks to wound me. Double quote. My friend. Did you just say mom? Double quote. Me. Dot. Yeah. I tried to argue with my dad, myself age 13, that the music from Ice Ice Baby was in fact Vanilla Ice. Not some obscure band called Queen Sheesh. I still cringe at that. Also have a friend that was convinced it was Dirty Deeds and the Dunder Chief so naturally I had a t-shirt made for him. Ah. The days of misheard lyrics. Edit. Okay okay. Bad formatting, my bad. I'm positive my dad was 13 long before Vanilla Ice was even born. I was preparing to run a 10k race. It was cool so I was wearing my running suit. Right before I go to the starting line. I'm about to take off the pants and I realize I'm not wearing any shorts underneath. Just under armor. I forgot to put them on. Somehow I managed to set a PR. It's become a running joke, no pun intended. That I make sure I'm wearing shorts. Open drawer to look for something. Don't see what I need. Start to close drawer. Spot thing I wanted in the first place. Reach hand back in while still closing drawer with other hand. Shut hand and drawer. I was 10. At a basketball tournament out of the city. I told my mother I was going to a friend's room at the hotel we were staying at. He was 3 floors below the room we were staying in. I got in the elevator. And pressed floor 6. The doors closed and nothing happened. I pressed floor 6 again. Instant panic shot through my body. Pure sweat dripping down my forehead. I was stuck in an elevator. Instantly. I had to shit. I sat on the floor for 10 minutes. Accepting that this is where I was going to die. Not once did it occur to me to press the emergency button. As I sat there and went through how I would die, I figured, I might as well press the door open button, and see if I could reset the elevator or some magnificent plan. I pressed door open and the elevator doors opened. And there I was. On the 6th floor. I immediately remembered that I was staying on the 6th floor, and pressed the same button that was the floor I was staying on. That's why it didn't move. I needed to go to the 3rd floor. Not me. But my sister. One time. She went to go put a glass of water in the microwave to help keep her food moist. But the glass was too tall. Instead of getting a smaller glass out of the cabinet. She poured half the water out into the sink. The glass still wouldn't fit in the microwave. And she realized after what she had done. That all bell peppers were the same bell pepper at different stages of ripeness. Also green olives and black olives are the same thing at different stages. This was about 3-4 years ago. You could literally see my mind exploded. My mind exploded when I found out why they're called bell peppers even though they're not shaped like bells. Turns out they are shaped like bells. Jingle bells. Reading my shampoo bottle and it said 30 uses. I thought of one. Shampoo and two. Emergency body wash before I thought of three. I am an idiot. I was working with my deaf co-worker and the store we worked at was having a sale on AirPod Pros. I forgot he wouldn't be able to use them and was miming to him that he should buy some. He just pointed to his ears and shook his head. Then to make it worse. I kept trying to sign to him that I was sorry and kept signing thank you instead. He at least got a good laugh out of it. When after summer vacation I didn't remember how to write a K edit. Whoa. Thanks for the award. One time I was on a road trip and. In my defense. I was hella tired. I argued with a cashier about how he gave me the wrong change because half of a dollar was zero dollars. 30. 
not zero dollars. Fifty. I was thinking if a minute is sixty seconds. A dollar must be zero dollars. Sixty. After a year or so of living in this condo and thinking that it sucked I didn't have a fan or light over my oven. I pressed the wrong button on the microwave and boiler. Light went on. I'm ashamed to admit how long it took me to realize I had a microwave oven range unit. Edit. The actual term is over the range microwave. A friend was talking about living in an apartment for 3 years before he discovered that there was an outlet that allowed him to vacuum the entire apartment without changing where the vacuum plugged in. He had placed a vase or something on the floor right in front of the outlet when he moved in. And never moved it. So I definitely talked some shti about that. Maybe a month later. I moved some stuff and found the outlet in my apartment that let me vacuum the whole place. Deployed. Heard word of an unidentified drone flying relatively close to our area. So I'm just sitting there staring up at the night sky. I really have never seen a drone during the night time. So I didn't really know what altitude to expect them to be flying at. Or if they had lights on. So I was pretty clueless. This dim light catches my eyes as I'm scanning the sky and I focus in on it. The light seems to be getting bigger and bigger. And I couldn't figure out what it was. So I ended up calling it up over the radio for the guys I was working with to come outside and take a look. They came outside. Looked at the light in the sky I was pointing at. Looked back at me. And then called me a dumbass. It was clouds slowly drifting in front of the moon. So I think that one was a mix of my own stupidity and tiredness. I guess it's ironic in some ways. But when I allow myself to be baited into replying to an idiotic stupid person comment. That's pretty dumb in itself although it's tempting as fck. Check my history. I just did it. Lol. I'm either feeding a troll or allowing my emotions to be somewhat aggravated. And over what? Over text on a screen from someone I'll never meet and who has no influence on my life, other than what I give them, whatsoever. I may as well be arguing with a bot and it's not like you ever change someone's opinion or bring them to a realization they're the idiot. Not gonna happen. What's the saying? Oh yeah. Don't argue with a stupid person. They'll drag you down to their level and beat you with experience. I've been downvoted before because of being misread and I felt like new. You don't understand. I'm not the idiot you thought I was I'm actually smart. No Aru like holy christ. What was I thinking? It's meaningless. I'm from the south and dated a girl when I was younger. First time meeting her mom. In a heavy New York accent. She asked me. You like dogs? I said. No thanks. I'm not hungry. Double quote. It took me way too long to realize she was talking about the two giant pets they had. Which were literally in between us. And not fking hot dogs. I let this girl just destroy my self esteem for months. She would always say. I love you and you're my best friend and things like that but what she said never matched how she acted or how she made me feel. She made me feel horrible. She made me feel like I was the least important person in her life. I got high as hell one night and I thought about it and I stumbled upon this thought. Maybe she's intentionally lying to me so she can keep stringing me along and be sure I don't have the confidence to find someone else. Double quote. No shit. Whoa. Who would have guessed? Words are sometimes literally just words. There's no verification for them. There's no effort behind them. Anyone could say those same things to me. Literally anyone. How fking stupid am I for just eating that shti up? Gullible fking idiot lol. I won't ever be taking words at face value ever again. They mean nothing if not supported by action. Met this guy at party. We went for an early morning walk through the city's park. Started kissing. All cool. I looked into his eyes and thought omg. So beautiful. Look at the colors and textures. Stared at him for a good minute and suddenly realized, I'm looking into someone's eyes which means those eyes are starting back at me. Felt so stupid. Married him 5 years later though. I was friends with some twins. I said happy birthday to one of them. The other asked what about me? Double quote. My dumbass. Oh shti is it your birthday too? Double quote. 
Yes. Double quote. Damn that's crazy you all even have the same birth oh damn. I am actually stupid. Double quote. I was out clothes shopping when I spotted someone I recognized. We made eye contact and smiled at each other. It was just then I realized I was walking towards a full length mirror. Getting home late one night. Cockies in hand. I go to my house's back door and press the unlock button on the car keys and attempt to open the door. I did it two more times before I realized I'm a king idiot. When I was 15 and my deodorant spray can was blocked. I squinted into the little hole after unblocking and pressed. It worked. I couldn't see from one eye for two days. Height of stupidity lol. But taught me a valuable lesson. A little story I remember. I once opened a juice gallon. Poured some juice for myself. And then proceeded to throw the cap of the juice gallon into the juice filled cup I poured. What have I just done? I L took it out using my hand. My hand got wet. I licked it. I remembered that I was in a guest's house. And people were watching me. Thing is. I remember precisely thinking. Don't throw the cap into the juice. Don't. Then I did. I made $1000 sports betting with only a $50 buy in. I was very meticulous and followed my rules about bankroll etc. Then I bet $1000 on one game and lost. Stick to the plan people. I developed the habit of putting my socks on while standing. But being me and having no sense of balance or body control. I more often than not fall over. And still keep doing it. Life is like a box of chocolate. I'm speaking for my sister here. Mom and I found out when she was around 17 that she had no idea how to properly use idioms. Her exact words were. Hit blunts. I have a cow to pick with you. Double quote. A wet? I traveled to Paris by myself when I was 18. I stupidly assumed that my Canadian high school French would be sufficient to converse in French in France. I very quickly discovered that was not the case. This however was not the moment of stupid. The moment of stupid was when I was lost somewhere in Paris trying to find my hotel. I decided I needed to ask someone for help but knew I needed to find someone who spoke English. So I walk up to a clerk and intend to ask do you speak English and French. But my brain shorts and I get the stupid. So instead I ask this clearly French man in Paris. France. Parles vous français? Comma do you speak French? He gave me the most dumbfounded and exasperated OUI I've ever heard. Before I corrected myself. I discovered the windows in our new house folded in from the top for easy cleaning. I excitedly ran into the room where my wife was to show her and folded in the nearest window. I picked the one I just put the window AC in and had not secured yet. It went hurting out of the second story window and smashed on the concrete patio. Drove to school in the morning as I was running late but took the bus home. Didn't realize what I'd done until about 5 hours later. I found a spoon in my freezer and while thinking hum why is this spoon in the freezer I licked it. My tongue got stuck and I pulled the spoon fast off my tongue. I then bled for a while after as I had torn my tongue in several spots. I worked seasonally for a jewelry store in college. They had a trunk show scheduled for Halloween day and I was told to dress up. So I dressed up in a shark costume only to realize upon arrival that they meant dress up. Fancy. A customer dropping mad cash on an anniversary ring for his wife laughed and asked if I'd drawn a short straw. Nope. Just turns out I'm a king idiot. Forgetting how to spell of when I was 10. My brain just kept farting off. And my mom was like are you king retarded? When I asked her how to spell the word. E. The thing is I knew it was wrong. I just couldn't put two letters together. I was peeing in a urinal. Then I thought I think I accidentally walked into the girls bathroom. Double quote. I couldn't leave because I was peeing. So I was just terrified some girl was going to walk in and see me. I finished peeing. Went to the sinks. And realized how stupid I was. Friend wanted 6 chicken tenders from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A only sells 3 tenders or 4 tenders. 
needed help to figure out how to get him six tenders. Having grown up with traditions like the Easter Bunny, I once had to correct my friend who claimed rabbits gave live birth by explaining that rabbits lay eggs. His response was so poignant and made me leave the room. He replied. Rabbits are mammals. Double quote. I have never been the same around him. I have a terrible habit of clicking get cash back at self checkouts when using my debit card and promptly walking out with groceries and forgetting the cash. Done this at least 3 times. Twice I forgot $40 and the third I left $100 for the next customer. Feels really dumb when it finally kicks in. Usually halfway back home. The moving blobs in a lava lamp are wax. I don't know why I always assumed it was some fancy high speed NASA non Newtonian magic stuff. I was 37 when I found out it's wax. I locked my keys in my car while it was running. Once when I was a teenager. It was a long time ago before cars had built in ignition sensors and the automatic locks to prevent this. Comma had to go to a neighbor's house to call my dad to come bring me the extra set. Haha <laughs> sorry I'm so stupid dad. I'm old. And old farts like me are known to lock their keys in their truck frequently. So I came up with a foolproof plan. I made an extra key and kept it in my wallet. Sure enough. I locked my keys in but wasn't distressed because wallet key. So I opened the door with wallet key. Set wallet key on truck seat. And closed locked door again. So now I had two keys locked in my truck. Along with my cell phone so I couldn't call for help. Geography class 9th grade. Couldn't find my home state, MO, on the map. Ask buddy for help. He slowly takes the map from my hands and turns it right side up. Woke up for work one day. Got showered and dressed and left for work. You know how you do the phone wallet keys pat down to make sure you have everything? Well I was driving to work when I did that check. And I could only find my wallet and my phone. No keys. Panic sets in and I turn around to drive home to get my car keys. I realized I was a dumbass about 2 minutes later. My wife and I were at I think Coles and I was looking at jeans and got all confused. I said to her what the hell is pre shrunk? I was pronouncing it pre shrunk. She looked at me like I was out of my gourd. I repeated it. She laughed and said pre shrunk. Dio. Not me but my stepsister. She thought for literally years that the wind farms helped stop global warming by cooling the surface. Like a giant fan. This lasted years BC no one in my family corrected her. We were so sad when she finally learned. I couldn't get a piece of bread out of our toaster. So I stuck a fork in the slot to kind of drag it out. A metal fork. While the toaster was still plugged in. I kept doing this until wife walked in and screamed stop. You're going to electrocute yourself. Double quote. I feel like I should return my diploma to my university. Before handing our exams back. The professor in my college class mentioned the scores ranged from a 39 on the low end. To a 100 on the high end. I remember audibly laughing out loud and thinking to myself. Who would be that dumb to get a 39? Me. It was me. This morning I was listening to the Derek Trucks band and was thinking man I wish I was Derek Trucks. Then when the song ended I hit the microphone button on my phone and said, my name, guitar solos. Then immediately was like WTF I'm not Derek Trucks. So I live in America. And we have English teachers to like teach us grammar and stuff right? Anyways. I met someone on a discord server who was from Spain. He sometimes talked about how his Spanish teacher was awful because she gave too much homework. And I asked him. You live in Spain. Why do you have a Spanish teacher? He says. You live in America. Why do you have an English teacher? And that was when I realized. I felt beyond stupid. But we just laughed about it. I was driving to Tahoe with some friends. We crossed over from California into Nevada and I had a heart attack cause I forgot my passport. I thought I needed a passport to go state to state. French class. Teacher discussing languages around the world randomly asks me what language was spoken in ancient Rome. Hung over me. 
Roman. I am a gay man and was talking with my stepmother who then said yeah. Well you like anus so. And I replied. I don't date people with anuses. Never wanted to jump out of a window so badly. Had a friend from middle school and on. A few months ago she posted a snap of her in workout clothes that said black girl magic. I thought why would she post that she's not. Oh. She is black. And x200b. I've known her since 6th grade until now, I'm 36, and never noticed it. Put the key to my locker I side the locker while telling my friend if I forget this here I'm stupid and proceeded to forget the key and lock it inside the locker. I gotta run some errands. So I'll run through Wendy's for lunch. Double quote. Pull into my driveway half an hour later with a full stomach and no errands done. Immediately pull back out of driveway. We went to the science center in high school to see the Body Worlds exhibit. While looking at a male specimen. I turned to my friend and very seriously asked her if the male penis was connected to the bladder.